Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is May 13th, 2022. And is the motto, buy in May and go away? All right, will that prove to be true? Also, I'm going to tell you why it may be best to be in a high quality altcoin, to be exposed to high quality alts and less so Bitcoin at this moment in time. I'm going to tell you why that is. If that sounds interesting to you, then watch until the very end. We're getting started on the weekly chart. We want the large view, the synoptic vision. What's going on? What's likely to happen? Okay, our weekly chart is showing us two main things. The first thing it says is that we are at crucial support, right? We are still at crucial support. We're just above our our uh, trend line, okay? That can be drawn from the previous two data points, right? The first being uh, January of 2021. The second being May, June, and July lows of 2022, or actually, sorry, of 2021. So the summer lows of 2021, we're, we're pretty much there hovering around 30K. All right, so we're at support. If we were to believe that this trading range were to continue to show positive price action, we'd expect or anticipate the price to go and test the tops of the range. So we're still at support. It's still a very good buy if you're not yet involved, okay? And I'm not necessarily talking about buying Bitcoin. It's always okay to buy Bitcoin, obviously. But if you use Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large, you know that it may be a good idea to be exposed in altcoins because if Bitcoin's at support, then altcoins are likely also at support, okay? So that's the idea. The two main things that the weekly chart is showing us is are that one, you're bottomed out on the stochastic RSI, okay? Your momentum indicator is bottomed out. You're at support on the charts and on the momentum indicator. So that is a good idea to buy, all right? This is the weekly chart, not the daily chart. Secondly, our volume indicator is showing us that you're finally getting volume, okay? You've you've had decreasing volume ever since you've entered this consolidation, this range, okay? Let's clean this up. You've entered this range, okay? After you hit all-time high at around 60K, you went into a range, what we call a flat correction. You initiated a flat correction, right, Uh, in Elliott Wave Theory. And you had your initial break of structure, and then you started ping-ponging up and down, right? This has yielded on the volume indicator decreasing volume all right decreasing volume says two things one it says that you're consolidating price is consolidating or it's correcting okay and so that is a that is commensurate with our idea that this whole thing ever since uh the march march of uh sorry april of 2021 or March of 2021, whatever you like, the high, the all-time high, the first all-time high that was hit in this range, that was the start of your correction. And now and only now are you starting to get some impulsive price action. Now, does that mean the correction's finished? No, if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know exactly my thoughts on this range. We're getting now volume because we are in the first impulse only move in this range which which will be the fully impulsive move of the b wave a b c and then a pivot into finally the last leg down and out of this range completing this minor two correction okay so this is these are my thoughts this is what the synoptic weekly chart is showing us it's very important to keep uh a large time frame in mind for a plan all right my my steps to success are three patience perspective and planning and to have patience perspective and a good plan you need to zoom out you need to kind of know 
what's going on with a high degree of probability. Obviously, you're not always going to get it right, but large time frame plans are important. Even when uh, you're doing a daily show and you're looking at the daily charts, you're looking at the hourly chart, you have to keep some perspective. And this is how you keep it in my estimation. Now, buy in May and go away. One of the reasons you want to buy in May and go away is because you're at support, because you're bottomed out on the stochastic RSI, because you're finally, after uh, about one year in consolidation, finally showing some some volume, and that volume is, um, it's it's consistent with the move up, meaning you're showing volume in the move up. The volume came from a capitulative move to the downside, meaning that whatever was going on to the downside is most likely finished, and now your volume is coming in for the move back up. This is why you may want to buy in May and go away. Now, do you want to buy Bitcoin? As I said, it's always a good idea to buy Bitcoin. I'm going to show you why it's the best idea to be in altcoins right now. Let's go in to our Bitcoin dominance chart, okay? And for those of you who don't know, Bitcoin dominance is essentially the percent, um, the percentage of the entire cryptocurrency market cap that Bitcoin holds. Okay, so Bitcoin is an important, very, very important asset. It's the king asset in cryptocurrency, right? And this, the, the premise of this entire show, my, my, my entire trading strategy is to analyze Bitcoin, to know what Bitcoin's doing, to track Bitcoin and use it as a proxy for the entire market, okay? So I understand just how important Bitcoin is. However, this Bitcoin dominance chart is showing us that ever since its inception, right? Ever since we've gotten uh, this Bitcoin dominance chart, dominance has fallen. And that makes sense to me fundamentally, and it should as well to you, okay? Let's take it off the log chart because this is best viewed on off the log chart, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. So ever since its inception, the king coin, Bitcoin, has gotten less and less important. Why is that? Why does it make sense? It makes sense because as the cryptocurrency market evolves, other what we call altcoins or um, coins that are not Bitcoin are gaining prominence, are gaining market cap, are developing in technology, developing fundamentally. So it would make sense that people interested in cryptocurrency are gradually invested in things other than just Bitcoin. I remember when I first started investing in cryptocurrency, in order to buy an altcoin, meaning a coin or a token that wasn't Bitcoin, I first had to buy Bitcoin and trade my Bitcoin for that altcoin. I couldn't just use Tether or USDC or a stablecoin. There weren't any stablecoins to buy that altcoin, okay? So this is the, the, the um, natural evolution of our market so it, it it doesn't confuse me or doesn't uh shock me that if i'm looking at the bitcoin dominance chart on a large time frame i'm still on the weekly time frame i'm seeing money slowly coming out steadily coming out of bitcoin and why is that important for you in this month of may because if we chart this bitcoin dominance trend right we can see that we are in a zigzag correction. So we see, I think it's very clear here, you see five waves, and this is the beauty of Elliott Wave analysis. You see five wave impulses pretty much everywhere, right? Anytime there's a trend in any asset or in any kind of concept, it evolves impulsively in five waves, okay? I see five waves down here, maybe even like this, okay? Obviously, this is Bitcoin dominance. Um, this is not an asset, but human behavior, uh, the buying and selling of things, it it all sort of meshes with the, these concepts, um, these natural concepts. I think Elliott Wave theory is a natural concept. You see it in nature. This we you know our buying and selling habits are natural, right? Natural human behavior, and this is what we're seeing. Five waves down. Okay, and then three waves up. And interestingly enough, 
if you take a Fibonacci retracement of these five waves down, you see that these three waves up go exactly to the 618 of these five waves down, okay? And what does that mean? For those of you who are interested in Elliott Wave Theory, you'll understand that this is a zigzag correction, what we call a zigzag correction in Elliott Wave Theory. You have five waves, right? Followed by three waves, right? Followed by five waves, okay? So to me, when I look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, and again, I understand that this is not an asset traded on the open market, but it is a reflection of assets traded on the open market. So it also is reflective in some way, shape, or form of human behavior and can be, apparently, can be tracked using Elliott wave theory. I'm seeing five waves down for Bitcoin dominance. Now, these five waves are going to take some time to develop. Again, what does this have to do with what you're doing in May? And for the future, I believe that what you're going to see is more and more money coming out of Bitcoin and focused in on non-Bitcoin assets. That would make sense, right? Even in the wake of what we've just seen with Luna and UST, that debacle, right? Even in the wake of something as uh, so impactful and negative on non-Bitcoin assets, I believe that what we're seeing is a trend out of Bitcoin, okay? And what we're seeing here is a consolidation after five waves down. You have this wave one, right? You have a consolidation, which seems to be on the daily chart finding its way down. So if I'm zooming in on a daily chart, I see that we've started heading down. There's been a rejection up here for some reason um, in dominance and we're topped out on the momentum indicator. If I use my stochastic RSI, basically this trend is topped out. This is what it's selling me. So it has yet to go down completely, but it is headed down. So I'm seeing dominance go down in the immediate short term on the daily time frame. But on the weekly time frame, I would not be surprised if we moved up a little more, okay, in this wave two correction, because this to me looks like some sort of complex correction. Okay, guys, if you're getting value from this analysis, please like the video, share the video with others and subscribe to the channel. Uh, especially if this is something novel, this is something you haven't seen before. This is not a regurgitation of, you know, your main talking point in cryptocurrency. I do these analyses every day and you can expect weekly live streams every Tuesday at around 4 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so this is why I think it's a good idea in May, given the daily chart on the Bitcoin dominance, it's a good idea in May to be invested in altcoins. Now, let's go to the charts. Let's not overcomplicate things. Let's simply go to the charts, right? we finally gotten some positive price action, okay, in Bitcoin after, you know, really a long period of just negative, negative price action. It's been very difficult for many people, okay, but it's still a great time to buy. It's a great time to be invested. As I said before, we're on support. And what do you want to do? Rule number one in investing, buy support, sell resistance. We're on support. Now, Bitcoin, ever since reaching its low of 25.5 or 25.6, whatever it was, has gone up about 20%, okay? So on this weekly candle, I see this dip. There's a nice, strong width to the bottom, okay? Uh, to the bottom of this support uh, range, and I've made 20% thereabouts, okay? Ever since then, Ravain, one of our favorite altcoins, has done, now let's go back on log, Ravain has put in 70%, okay? So again, you'd expect this because, you know, smaller cap altcoins, although they go down more when Bitcoin goes down, they go up more when Bitcoin goes up. So it's kind of like, uh, it, it's kind of like, uh, you know, a dozen here, or I don't know the expression, <laughs> but it, it's, it's a wash, right? 
you get really beat up when Bitcoin going is going down. But when Bitcoin goes up again, sometimes you gain a lot more when you're in these altcoins. Now, be very careful. Just like you saw in Luna, you have to do your own research. This is crypto. Nobody can make the decision for you and you shouldn't let anybody make the decision for you. So when you're investing in altcoins, in whatever, even Bitcoin, do your own research make sure that you understand the risks involved all right so in rate ravain did 70 percent in that same time it took bitcoin to do 20 percent okay another favorite altcoin of ours kadena did 56 percent in the same time bitcoin did 20 percent veracity another favorite altcoin of ours did 70 percent at this, in the same time period, Bitcoin did 20%. This is showing you exactly what you saw in the dominance chart. Bitcoin dominance is falling, meaning the market cap of these altcoins is rising dramatically while Bitcoin's market cap is rising ever so slightly. So its dominance in the overall cryptocurrency market is falling. I hope that makes sense. I hope this explains exactly why it may be a great idea to buy these altcoins on support for the next move up okay now finally we're looking at one of the major altcoins that i discussed yesterday okay and this is a major altcoin it's a top 10 altcoin it has a lot of market cap in and of its own you know and in its own right but i believe that this is one of the best buys and will be one of the best buys for 2022 and the reason being is that unlike some other assets, this coin, this token, ADA, Cardano, specifically, I believe has completed its major wave two correction, its major correction right here, its cycle two correction, okay? Because I've got a chart right here, and this is a cycle two correction. It's been going down pretty much nonstop since August of 2021 and it experienced about an 87 percent drawdown okay and what you're going to see in cardano i think according to my analysis is a move to the upside that's so intense and that's going to be sort of unimpeded for some time it's going to take cardano to triple digits i believe to triple digits it's not going to stop till it gets to triple digits meanwhile other altcoins will also rise other projects will also rise but you're not going to see the rise of um you know assets to this extent because it is simply at this point in its chart right um and the reason for this i explained in yesterday's video if you've missed it it's essentially because because it's it's completed its major correction it's in its wave three it's in its cycle wave three whereas other assets like bitcoin would still be in a wave b and are capped by the phi ratio here at one hundred and four thousand dollars. so after a certain amount of time uh you're going to see bitcoin put in these five waves up pivot down and come down okay but not so in um cardano and anything else kind of like i believe kadena and ravain i believe also you will see um a similar rise because i believe that these tokens these assets have completed their major wave two correction okay this is just the theory of mine but this is how i'm going to invest it guys that's my analysis for the day please like share and subscribe if you've gotten value please invest safely you understand the risks of this market there's a lot of money to be had but there's a lot to be lost there's it's very risky so please 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 be careful do your own research and when we say buy in may and go away please do go away the only way you can get these major gains is if you buy and you don't touch it don't try to you know don't try to sell at you know intermediate resistances right trade in and out just leave it alone let compound interest take it take over right let the 30% gains on the daily compound into life-changing wealth. Good luck, and I'll see you guys soon.